Because no structure is built exactly level, plumb, straight, and true to line, tolerances are the means used to establish permissible variations in dimensions and locations. Tolerances provide parameters within which work can be performed and inspected, and should neither be overly restrictive nor overly lenient. Rather, they should be used to establish a range of acceptability. Contract documents normally refer to ACI 117 specification, standard tolerances for concrete construction and materials for the standard tolerances to be followed. The CRSI Manual of Standard Practice Committee in cooperation with ACI Committee 315, Detailing, and ACI Committee 117, Tolerances, has established standard tolerances for fabrication of reinforcing bars. Bar sizes number 10 through number 36 metric have a shearing length tolerance for straight bars of plus or minus one inch and an out-to-out -out dimension tolerance for most bent bars of plus or minus one inch. Stirrups, hoops, and ties in sizes number 10, number 13, and number 16 metric have a tolerance of plus or minus one half inch. Large bar sizes number 43 and number 57 metric have more lenient tolerances, plus or minus two inch shearing tolerance and bending tolerance of plus or minus two and one half inches for number 43 and three and one half inches for number 57. Rebar fabricating shops do not have problems meeting the recommended tolerances. Placing tolerances recognize the imprecise nature of the placing operation and allow deviation criteria. ACI 117 allows a maximum deviation of three inches from the specified location, permitting the iron worker to shift the bar to one side or the other of small openings, pipe sleeves, electrical outlets, and similar obstacles that may interfere with the exact placement of the bar. ACI 117 allows a placing deviation from theoretical position for stirrups and beams and ties and columns equal to the depth of the beam or at the width of column in inches divided by 12. For instance, in a beam 18 inches deep, or an 18 inch square column, the tolerance in placement is one and one half inches. The tolerance for the longitudinal location of bends and ends of bars at discontinuous ends of members is limited to plus or minus one inch. But at other locations, is allowed to be plus or minus two inches. The embedded length of bars and length of bar laps for number 10 through number 36 bar sizes is minus one inch with no plus tolerance because an increased length is not detrimental. The embedment length for number 43 and number 57 bar sizes is increased to minus two inches. ACI 117 also permits tolerances on concrete cover measured perpendicular to concrete surface in direction of tolerances. When the member size is 12 inch or less, 3 8 inch is allowed. And when member size is over 12 inch, this is increased to minus 1 half inch. The reduction in cover shall not exceed one third specified concrete cover, and the reduction in cover to form soffits shall not exceed one quarter inch. Another factor that must be considered when an inspector is determining concrete surfaces and clear distance to formed and resulting concrete soffits is direction of tolerance. ACI 117 allows a tolerance of plus or minus 3 8 inch when the member size is over 4 inches but equal to or less than 12 inches and plus or minus 1 half inch when the member size is over 12 inches and equal to less than 2 feet. This tolerance is increased to plus or minus 1 inch when the member size is over 2 feet. A possible tolerance conflict may occur between carpenter and iron worker due to allowable tolerances for form work and rebar lengths. For example, a 10 foot square footing form may be plus two inches and minus one half inch. If the inside footing form dimension is nine foot 11 and one half inches, the correct bar length would encroach one quarter inch each end into the specified three inch cover. This is acceptable because ACI 117 allows up to one half inch encroachment on the three inch cover.